Another critical area you must seriously consider is family. You know, the dictionary defines family as a basic unit consisting of parents and their children, considered as a group, whether dwelling together or not. Another definition says any group of people closely related by blood, such as parents, children, uncles, aunts, and cousins. They say marriage is the joining of two families, not just two persons. And this is very true. During the engagement ceremony, the bride is usually described as a rose which the groom wishes to pluck from a garden. That garden is a family. So let's face it, his family isn't going to vanish when you marry him. Families are not like habits. They can't be changed. If someone has a bad habit, he can make you a promise to change it. But if he has a bad family stock, there is little or nothing you can do about it. You know, long ago, parents were known to investigate and assess the kind of family that their children was getting married into. They wanted to know if there was a history of divorce, insanity, family sickness, and all that. Little wonder that in those days, there were fewer divorces and the divorce rates were lower. But when family assessments became less important, then the divorce rates went up. You see, when you marry into a family, not only do you adopt his family, you actually adopt his entire family. So his brother will become your brother. His sister will become your sister, albeit in-laws. So you ask yourself, how compatible are you with his family? Can you live with them if the need arises? Can you see them as your own family? How do you feel when you're with them? Many marriages have crashed because the wife tried to build an island out of their home without a landing bay for their families. It may have worked out the first few years, but over time things usually just crash. Beyond the wedding, your families will need to be integrated. No doubt about it, there will need to be boundaries to the depth of the integration, but it is extremely important to be able to accommodate his family into your space. So, ask, are your families compatible? Also, consider family class issues like educational orientation and exposure. To do this, you need to be aware of certain things. Do they have family values and beliefs? Do they have family traditions and rituals? Do they have specific roles for spouses in their family? Is this guy his family's lifeline? Is he the one the family expects to bring up his other siblings? Can you deal with it? What will this do to your joint account? What is your relationship with his mother like? Many times, crises between mothers-in-law and daughters-in-law have led to second marriages. What is his relationship with his mother like? How close are they and how can you be a part of that team? Does it matter to you that he is from polygamous home or does it not matter? Is his family structure important to you? How do you relate with his family and how well does his family relate with you? The truth be told, these things can change. But what if they don't change? Can you live with it? Meanwhile, how does he relate with his family? Are they close or distant? How much influence do they have on him? What is his relationship with his siblings like? And then, how does he relate with your family? How does he feel about your parents and siblings? And how do your parents feel about him? Do members of his family like to interfere in your relationship? This is important because studies show 81% of happily married couples say their partners, friends and family rarely interfered with the relationship compared to just 38% of unhappy couples. Finally, research also shows that birth order can influence whether a marriage succeeds or fails. The most successful marriages are those where the oldest sister of brothers marries the youngest brother of sisters. 
two first months, however, tend to be more aggressive and can create higher level of tension. Remember, if that doesn't bother you, then it doesn't matter. So, go ahead at this moment and fill out your assessment of that score. Is his family intolerable? Then score one. Is his family tolerable? Score two. Are you compatible with his family? Score three. And do you find that family unit or relationship admirable? Then go ahead and put a four there. 